Hey there everyone, I hope you're rocking today. Landing an amazing GIS career is not a simple task. Without proper planning, you could end up digitizing property lines in Nowheresville, Manitoba? Or filling in attribute tables at minimum wage. Not a great use of your talents. You can, however, have an amazing career if you integrate three skills I'm going to talk about in this video. Before we get going, if you have any questions or any concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. A future in geographic information systems looks bright, but don't get complacent in your thinking. If you're not careful, you'll end up in a dead-end digitizing job or a document management position. Perhaps these are for you, but if you want more out of your GIS career, keep watching. I recently gave a talk for GIS Day to a group of students about what I know are essential skills for your career. I know these are essential skills because I was out of work with an extremely high education in geoscience. If it weren't for these three skills and some hard work, I don't think I could have achieved what I have to date. If you learn and understand what I'm about to show you, you will be on your way to a very rewarding career. The great thing about these techniques is that if you internalize them, they will help you throughout your life. This long-term skill internalization is important because according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average person will change jobs 12 times in their lifetime. That is roughly a change every five years. That means whatever you're doing right now, going to school, research, drawing, teaching, you will not be doing that in five years, let alone 10. Acquiring skills are good, but acquiring skills usable across the years is best. Here are Three skills that you need to ensure your success in a GIS career. Number one, continuous improvement. This also means continuous learning. This means keeping up with innovation. This means ensuring that you know what is new and integrating it right away within your career. Go to conferences to find out what's happening. Take training to keep your skills up. Go to meetups to see what other people are doing. Get subscriptions to trade journals, watch YouTube videos, listen to podcasts, keep your skills up to date and keep them relevant in everything you do. Number two, learn to code. If you are in a technical field, this is something you simply cannot avoid. I have told people straight up that if I was hiring, I would not hire anybody who could not code. For GIS, this coding means Python and ArcPy within the ArcGIS environment. Python is great because it's open source and free, so you can use all the libraries that are out there. Plus the fact that there are communities out there online that can help you with problems that you're having with your code. How can I do this in Python? Oh, this is how I do it in Python. Put it into my program. If someone comes up to you with a problem, this should be your only answer. I can code you a solution for that. Number three, find the connections. This can be an art form in itself, but a very lucrative art form. We live in a very connected world on many levels. Some of them are seen and some of them are unseen. Sometimes it's an art form to be able to find the connection between these different facets on the surface of the earth. Some of them are obvious, water table levels and crops, hill slopes and ground stability, population density and markets demographics and immigration rates, location of fire departments in communities. Some of these connections are well known and some of them are not. The hidden connections is the gold for a GIS person. You find the proper connections, you find the impact on the world, and if it's your motivation, you find the money. And those were my thoughts on the three skills that you need for GIS success. Geographic Information Systems has a huge potential right now, and with a little bit of planning, you too can get a career that you deserve. 
thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.